Welcome to the channel. And in this video we are going to talk about the most dangerous cities in Wisconsin. 10. Madison. Madison is not only the state's capital but it's also one of the largest cities in Wisconsin. With so many people, it isn't surprising that Madison has the state's eighth highest violent crime rate. However, the city fared much better in terms of property crime, having the 22nd highest rate in the state. 9. La Crosse. La Crosse, with a population of just over 51,500, has the 22nd highest violent crime rate in Wisconsin. There is good news, though. The city has moved down two spots since last year when it was ranked the seventh most dangerous city. The city of La Crosse is definitely trying to move into one of the best places to live in Wisconsin. 8. Beloit. With a population just over 35,000, Beloit has a rather high rate of violent crimes. Overall, the city ranks fourth for violent crime. However, the rate of property crime is much lower, with Beloit coming in 21st. The violent crime rates for Wisconsin are pretty high in Beloit, and the city has been rated the worst place to live in Wisconsin by USA Today. 7. Superior. Not only is Superior a port city, but there are several major highways that run through it. Dash two factors that likely contribute to it having the state's fifth highest rate of property crime. Even more worrisome is the fact that Superior has made a huge jump from last year's ranking as the 20th most dangerous city in Wisconsin. Superior is now one of the most dangerous cities in Wisconsin to live or visit. 6. Antigo. For a town of about 8,200, Antigo's crime rate is pretty surprising. The town ranks 16th in terms of violent crime and 4th for property crime. And it doesn't seem as if things are getting any better, last year, Antigo was the state's 9th most dangerous city. Hopefully Antigo can turn it around in the coming years. 5. Shawano. Overall, Shawano is a pretty dangerous place. In fact, it has one of the state's highest rates of violent crimes with one out of every 29.8 residents at risk of being the victim of a violent crime. What's more, the property crime rate has increased by 11% since 2017. There is a plus side, though. Property crimes have decreased by 10%. As a premier destination for water activities, hopefully Shiwano can turn the violent crime statistics around. It has a lot to offer, including serving as host of a fun Wisconsin festival. 4. Ashland. Located on Lake Superior, Ashland is a port city, which means lots of people pass through the small town of about 8,000. Interestingly, it has a haunted hotel to offer travelers. The influx of visitors likely contributes to Ashland's high crime rates. In addition to ranking 9th for violent crimes, the town comes in 10th for property crimes. To put those numbers in perspective, people in Ashland have about a 1 in 27.3 chance of being the victim of crime. Ashland is a high tourism spot, which may contribute to the high levels of property crimes. 3. Milwaukee. With over a half million residents, Milwaukee is the state's most populated city, it's also among the most dangerous. In fact, the city has the highest rate of violent crime in the entire state. However, the city has improved from last year when it ranked as the state's second most dangerous city. It is still rated as one of the most dangerous cities in America, however, so it has a ways to go. 2. Brown Deer. With a population of less than 12,000, it's pretty surprising that Brown Deer is ranked the second most dangerous city in Wisconsin. Even more surprising is that violent crimes and property crimes didn't really become an issue for Brown Deer until 2017 to 2018, when crime rates increased rather drastically. As of 2018, residents have a 1 in 234 chance of being the victim of a violent crime and a 1 in 21.8 chance of being the victim of a property crime. A suburb of Milwaukee. Brown Deer has been included one of the best places to live by CNN money in the past, so hopefully these statistics are only temporary. 1. Glendale. Glendale may be miles away from Milwaukee in terms of distance, but when it comes to high crime rates, the two are rather close. However, unlike Milwaukee, Glendale's main issue is property crime. In fact, Glendale has the highest crime rates in Wisconsin when it comes to property crimes. In fact, studies show that for a community this size, 
Glendale has one of the highest crime rates in the whole country. Were you surprised by these rankings? Is your home down on this list of the most dangerous cities in Wisconsin? Tell us in the comments section below. Is Wisconsin a good place to live? Absolutely. Wisconsin has so many wonderful qualities, and people are noticing. In fact, three towns in Wisconsin, Eau Claire, Appleton, and Madison, all rank in the top 100 communities to live in America by a livability study. 